Kia ora tamariki ma. We have a new story today and our story today is called Old Hoo Hoo and the author of the story is Kyle Newburn. Kyle was the person that wrote the story. That is my dog trying to get in the video. We're going to ignore her. Old Hoo Hoo. Old Hoo Hoo flew to the moon and back, then fell to the ground dead. Hmm. What a silly thing to do to fly all the way to the moon, and yet wasn't that exactly the kind of thing Old Hoo Hoo used to do all the time? long ago when he was young. Maybe he forgot he was old. Insects came far and from far and wide to say goodbye. Some flew four wings and two. Some crawled six legs and eight or no legs at all. Everyone loved old Hoo Hoo. But nobody loved him quite as much as little Hoo Hoo Too. Maybe that's why Hoo Hoo Too was the only one who knew that it wasn't old Hoo Hoo lying upside down on the ground. It was just an empty shell. But if that were true, where was old Hoo Hoo? Where's old Hoo Hoo? Ladybird laughed. Why, he's sitting on a cloud with all his friends munching and laughing a young Hoo Hoo grub again. Could it really be true? Was that where old Hoo Hoo had got to? Across the sky, Hoo Hoo Too flew, calling, Old Hoo Hoo, Old Hoo Hoo, where are you? But there came no reply as the cold wind blew. Where's old Hoo Hoo? Spider cried. What a silly question. Just look around. There's some of him here. There's more of him there. His blood is in the soil. His breath is in the air. I can see him in the flowers. I can see him in your hair. Old Hoo Hoo's not gone. He's everywhere. Could it really be true? If he looked really hard, would he see old Hoo Hoo? Low and high searched Hoo Hoo too, asking, Old Hoo Hoo, Old Hoo Hoo, is that really you? But there came no reply as the dark shadows grew. Old Hoo Hoo's not really dead, Butterfly said, but his time as our friend has come to an end. Soon he'll awake, born once again. He might be an elephant, a snake or a hen. Could it really be true? When old Hoo Hoo woke up, would he start life anew? By old Hoo Hoo's side sat Hoo Hoo too, whispering, Old Hoo Hoo, Old Hoo Hoo, wake up, won't you? But there came no reply as the night soaked with dew. It 
was no use. Old Hoo Hoo was gone forever. And I never said goodbye, Hoo Hoo too cried. He cried and cried the whole night through. If only I knew where old Hoo Hoo got to. But then, as the sun cracked open the sky, he heard old Hoo Hoo's voice as clear as day. Hoo Hoo too, the day is new. So what are you going to do? Hoo Hoo too couldn't believe his ears. Old Hoo Hoo, old Hoo Hoo, he called, where are you? He listened again. Old Hoo Hoo's voice wasn't coming from the clouds or the dirt or the flowers. It was coming from inside Hoo Hoo too. At last he knew. That's where you got to, smiled Hoo Hoo too. Hoo Hoo too flew to the moon and back, just like old Hoo Hoo used to do all the time long ago when he was young, just like Hoo Hoo too. I hope you liked our story about old Hoo Hoo today. I do apologise for my dog barking in the background. Kaki te apopo.